It is confirmed that Betelgeuse is going to explode, and it might be sooner than you think. After the popular great dimming of Betelgeuse in 2019 to 2020, scientists are confused as to what might be the reason for the reduction of Betelgeuse's brightness by half. The surface temperature decreased by 100 Kelvin, which is 100 degrees Celsius or 180 degrees Fahrenheit. It has come to the knowledge that it might be the mass ejection from its surface, thrown out to the surrounding atmosphere and cooled down to form gas clouds which are in line with the Earth, causing the great dimming. Others also insist that it was due to a coincidence of two different light pulsation cycles of 2200 days and 420 days in synchrony. As the latest evidence shows that part of the total surface was cooler than the rest by 250 Kelvin, caused together by pulsation cycle and large-scale convective motions. So to find out what its current evolutionary stage is, scientists and researchers started computing models of its evolution with different initial parameters taken from the current known valid data points. Run four models with known four light pulsation cycles of 2200, 420, 365, and 185 days. The models are computed till the cycle of silicon core synthesis from helium core synthesis. The results are consistent and converging with the real data, suggesting that Betelgeuse is likely in the late phase of the carbon core synthesis, getting ready to the next cycle, which is the silicon cycle which we talked about just earlier. When silicon core synthesis is complete, forming iron core, soon enough Betelgeuse starts to collapse, 300 quadrillion joules of energy as neutrinos will be produced after the collapse. In order to detect them on Earth, they have to travel about 600 years in time. But the cool thing is, we don't have to wait 600 years or more. When we look into Betelgeuse from Earth, currently we are looking at Betelgeuse 600 years back from our current time. The computational results indicate that Betelgeuse has less than 300 years left and may explode sooner than you might think. But as of now, it would take some tens of years to reach and see for yourself. We are living in one of the best times, and we couldn't be happier than this. So, here are some interesting facts about Betelgeuse. One, Betelgeuse, is a red supergiant star located in the Orion constellation, which is about 650 light years. Two, if we replace our Sun with Betelgeuse, the radius of the Betelgeuse would reach Jupiter's orbit. Three, the gravity of Betelgeuse is way lower than our own Sun. For comparison, our Sun's gravity is 274 meters per second, while for Betelgeuse, it is 0.0032 meters per second. Yeah, I know, I checked the calculations many times for myself and was still blown away that being a supergiant star which is larger in size can be very deceiving to our intellect, as we have this assumption in the back of our head that the bigger it is, the heavier it is. 4. In 1998, scientists discovered the presence of water in the atmosphere of Betelgeuse by above 0.3 times its radius, and scientists, back in 2010, confirmed it by analyzing the data taken 35 previous years. They also confirmed other complex inorganic molecules in the upper atmosphere by within 33 times its radius from the surface. 5. The surface color of Betelgeuse was likely yellow 2,000 years ago, and currently it is red. And finally 6. Betelgeuse, also known as Alpha Orionis, is mostly destined to explode as a Type II supernova and leave behind as a neutron star, although there is a slight possibility, becoming a black hole. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more new findings. Let me know in the comments what do you think about Betelgeuse's current trajectory. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.